It has been an unusually hot period in the Horn of Africa. The region is going through a devastating drought due to lower than normal rainfall. This has put more than 30 million people in the region at risk of starvation while wiping out thousands of livestock in the last seven months. Kenya is one of the countries affected by the dry spell as more than 2 million people in 13 counties face hunger. The situation actually has been moving from bad to worse, to be very honest. The situation late last year is not the same as it is now because remember we were expecting some rains to start coming in which failed. Mm. And so when rain start failing, the, the, the numbers of people who get impacted now start growing. Late last year in December, we were talking of 1.3 million Kenyans who were affected. But now we are talking of 2.7 is growing. It might hit now even uh, 3, 3 million people and keep growing. So the situation is actually moving from bad to worst. But um, as we would always say, we are very hopeful that the rains would come. Mm -hmm. And when rains start coming, then it will start reversing the, the, the negative effects. Mm -hmm. The government has spent 5.5 billion shillings on a livestock takeoff program while supplying water and fodder to the affected communities. Various development agencies have committed 9 billion shillings into the drought mitigation kitty. But in an era where development agencies have faced squeezed resources, they are becoming less promising. So far, 13 counties are the most affected, with the government today receiving an insurance payout of 215 million shillings for pastoralists in seven counties. Between February and April, we actually need 11 billion Kenya shillings. Government have put in uh, 7.4, actually 11.3. Government has put in 7.4. In other words, we need another 4 billion. We have a cup of 4 billion as we speak now, mm -hmm. of which the development partners. I was from from the other day. Mm -hmm. And uh, FAO is releasing uh, one, uh, 100 million Kenya shillings immediately. To 120,000 herders are targeted through the Kenya Livestock Insurance Program. Each herder will receive 14,000 shillings for any cattle lost, capped to a maximum of five cattle. It may not be the same in all the counties. Mm -hmm. it, is, it was depending on the number of vulnerable communities we managed to identify in each of the counties. Mm -hmm. yeah. But in total, we are talking of 120 uh, people so actually who are going to be touched by mm -hmm. this uh, intervention. Who are going to be given this amount? This are amount. going to be given an equal amount? Or it it is it's most, it's an equal amount because what, um, the, what we uh, insured was uh, five animals per family per household, five animals, so that at the end of the day, if you lose all your animals and somebody comes and buys for you five, mm -hmm. we think that would be the beginning. You can start coming up again with five animals. The funds will be distributed through M-Pesa, checks and local administrators. O'Brien came in for business, News Hour.